Okay, pressure's on. Quick, so who does automated testing? Almost everybody here, hands up quick. Okay, um, how many has no failures ever in that suite? Okay, good one, okay. So my presentation is how to never have any failures. So hopefully you're all interested in this. Um, first of all, step number one, no matter what, it has to be automated, CI build, PR build, so we know right away. Second, it's not just for, for what I implemented anyway, it's not just passed or failed, there's nuance in there, and to identify that nuance. So first, passed, great. Second, maybe the feature's in development, so it's not passing, but that's not a failure. We know the status. Third is something did turn red for a brief moment in your CI build, but now it is a known issue. It's no longer a failing test. It's a test that's run, and it's now tracked in JIRA. Um, I think I have a fourth. Oh, fourth is maybe uh, the test is in development. So personally, I do not have no passing tests, unfortunately, because I missed step one, which was the CI build at the beginning. I'm like, okay, I'm new to this. I'm gonna write a whole bunch of tests. So I did, and then I was running around chasing devs. Why is this failing? What's going on? So now we finally have the CI build. Now devs can say they can't check in code that's going to fail the test. I'm a bit in a privileged position maybe because it's API testing. I think that's harder when you're right at the UI, but from an API level, this is achievable, so you can never have failures. You know the status of what's going on, and I guess I spoke too quickly because I still have 20 seconds, so thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.